extra much. Now it's time to meet the men with the power to make mountains. A group of amateur surveyors have been climbing and re-measuring some of Britain's highest peaks to see if they're actually high enough to be called mountains. They've already had two reclassified as mountains and today we'll find out if Talifan in Snowdonia could be downgraded to a hill. Well, we can cross now to Graham Satchel, who is live there for us. And uh, I imagine, Graham, people are rather hoping it won't be downgraded. These things are quite important, aren't they? They are to uh, a lot of people, Sophie. I mean, I I'm not a hill walker, so to me, Talifan, which you can see there in the background, is it a mountain? Is it a hill? Does it matter? To me, it doesn't matter. It was just an amazing climb that we went up yesterday. Extraordinary views, another glorious day today. But to some people, it really does matter whether it's a mountain or, or a hill. They climb them, they check them off a list. So yesterday we climbed up with a bunch of guys who've made it something of an obsession to make sure for definite whether things are mountains or hills. And this is what we found. Graham, John and Myrthen are on a mission. They're climbing Talifan in North Wales. They're here to see how high it is to decide whether it's a mountain or a hill. Why do we go out into the hills? We go out to enjoy ourselves. But measuring hills is really good fun. Uh, I get a kick out of it. And uh, I hope it's doing something that's marginally useful at the end of the day. Come on, you can go before me. Cheers. After climbing for an hour, they make it to the top. Like the summit? Yep. Wow. On the map, it says that Talifan is 610 metres high. Now, to be a mountain, it needs to be 609.6 .6 metres high. So at the moment, it's a mountain by just 40 centimetres. So we've climbed a mountain, but will we walk down a hill? There. Four, six, five. Where my finger is. That is correct. To find out, the amateur surveyors locate the highest point set up some pretty sophisticated GPS equipment and start collecting data. 1652. Call it five o'clock. Yeah. I, I like things right and I like things to know what they are, yeah. Yeah, I'm a pedant. <laughs> I did a PhD in chemical physics and spectroscopy and there you had highly accurate work, so yes, I suppose, uh, uh, train spotting. <laughs> Knowing that something is right and that the result is accurate is, is important to me. Yes, uh, Graham, John and Merthyn have been doing this for years. Here they are at a variety of different summits. They've carried out almost 200 surveys. So far, they've promoted two hills into mountains and also demoted two Munros, Scottish mountains over 3,000 feet. We know when we complete this work that we have actually defined forever what the list of Munros will be. There will never be any more debate about it. So it's quite satisfying to know you did that. Measuring the height of mountains is the responsibility of the Ordnance Survey, the government map makers. Most were done decades ago with aerial photography, accurate only to about two metres. Hi, Graham, nice to see you. All right. Hi, Mark. Hi, Hi, Hello. Mark Greaves is from Ordnance Survey, here to lend a hand and rubber stamp the findings. Experts at Ordnance Survey will, will, will double check the quality and, and make sure that the result is what it is. And if it uh, means a change in our maps, then we'll uh, apply that change. So does it matter in the end if this is a mountain or merely a hill? I certainly wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for the beauty of the landscape that we go to. Um, I wouldn't want to survey in the town centre, but ultimately it doesn't matter really. The climbers head back down to crunch the numbers and to see whether Talifan is still a mountain. So here it is, this is Talavan's big moment. We've got with us this morning Merithin, Graham and John. John, you've been crunching the numbers. Yes, we processed it last night and the result is 609.98 metres, so that's some 38 centimetres above 2,000 feet. So we went up a mountain yesterday and we still came down a mountain. There we are. <laughs> well, the whole of North Wales will be uh, having a huge sigh of relief. Graham, does it actually matter in the end? I mean, it's just a, a nice walk up, isn't it? Well, it certainly is. Uh, lots of people enjoy the British countryside and um, I think many of those people that do uh, enjoy climbing lists of mountains or hills and uh, for those people it is important because now they know that uh, Talifan really is a mountain, it's over 2,000 feet. 
Uh, as an example, we have uh, a colleague whose last um, English and Welsh mountain is going to be Talifan, so we would have not been very popular uh, had we <laughs> demoted it yesterday. Yes, well there we go. It's always nice, isn't it, to maintain status. But you've also promoted hills to mountains before, haven't you? I mean, it's quite a sort of fun hobby. Um, it is a hobby. It's an extension out of the love that we have with uh, for hill walking. One of the most recent ones was only uh, a couple of months ago, and that was at Thackmore in the northern Pennines that uh, reached mountain status by no more than two centimetres, approximately three quarters of an inch. Um, but Talavan, it remains a mountain. We're all very glad of that. It's uh, at the end of a fantastic um, hill ridge called the Cairn Eddai. And uh, as you mentioned, Graham, it's the most northerly 2,000 foot mountain in Wales. Lovely, Merton, thank you very much. Merton, a very proud Welshman today. Uh, and a sigh of relief for the whole of Wales that the most northerly mountain in Wales, Taliban, remains a mountain. With that from us, it's back to you. Very good news, Graham. Thank you very much. Looks lovely there. Now it's time to catch up with all the latest movie releases.